let's say something I forget. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Hazlab Victory Saber. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. As you can see right up front here, we have some lovely artwork of Star Saber, Victory Leo, Victory Saber. Right behind them, you have kind of this nice image here of the combined mode. You got the legacy logo up here on this side. Transformers done in a nice shiny red. On this side, you have a rundown of what's going on in the box. Hooray for what's going on in the box. On the back, a nice obligatory product shot. Now, this can open up, and inside, you have a nice big image here and we'll roll some sweet b-roll so you can see what all that looks like in there and in the box you have this nice little cardboard poster here again some nice images and of course within the box we have the trays where the accessories and the figures lie and nothing on this except for victory saber on this side some legal mumbo jumbo on this side nothing on the bottom and that's basically it for the packaging then here we have victory saber the second project from Haslab, their first being unicron and uh yeah we get star saber we have victory leo and we have fire and holly Holy, not sure how to pronounce that, but we have these four guys here. So first up, we'll take a look at the uh, the two little ones here. And here are the two little ones, and we're not going to spend too much time on these because they're just repainted uh, MicroMasters from Siege. So we've seen them before, we know what they do, but we'll get in close here so we can just take a look at the paint job here. Looking pretty good. The back side... Articulation is pretty much what you expect from these. Not a whole lot. Ball joints, knees. Yeah, no. Ball joints, no elbows. Ball joints, knees. The legs still pop off pretty easily. Yeah, no. They are what they are. <laughs> now, transformation-wise, for fire, very simple. You just take his arms, bring them up. Kind of shift this out of the way so you can bring these down. Rotate these up. And rotate that up, like so, and bring that around, and there you go, you can flip that out, and there you have fire in his alt mode, and there you go. Now for Holly, Holy, again, I'm not sure how you pronounce his name, I'm so sorry, but bring the arms in, have a little tab slot connection here, like that, flip the roof down. Rotate the legs, rotate the legs, pray the legs don't fall off while you're doing this. And surprisingly, they do not! Yay! And there you have the little police car. They roll as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. Of course, they have, you know, the weapon mode also, but the weapon mode, you know, is not great. <laughs> I'm gonna skip that, but there you have those two little ones. Hooray for little ones. Whee! So let's move on to the main event, which is these two right here, Star Saber and Victory Leo. And uh, two nicely done figures, in my opinion. I do quite like them. But we'll move Leo off to the side, and first we'll take a look at the Saber of the Stars. Let's get in close on that noggin. There is that noggin. Very nicely done. Head sculpt. Nice silver there on the face. Blue for the eyes. Got some yellow in there as well. Got some nice gold chrome there on the chest. Autobot symbols on the shoulders. Nice red, white, and blue paint scheme here. You got some yellow as well on the crotch hill region. Yellow on those knee pads. And his big old fates. And we went back. You can see. Lots of detail. Nice clean transformation. Oh no, looks quite quite good. And now articulation wise, um, this little you know antenna can move forward and back, in and out. Head can rotate. I won't push it too far, but you can get that far. He can look out, do total squirrel. Although you can kind of see his other head kind of peeking out of his neck there. But still, you can bring it up, bring it down some. Arms 
can do a full 360 on a ratchet, can move in and out. They only move in and out here at this joint, and that's pretty much as far as you will get. You also have a butterfly joint there that allows the arms to move forward, which is nice. Um, you do have a double jointed elbow. So you get about that much range of movement. So unfortunately, just kind of due to the shapes of everything, you still can't make full use of that double jointed elbow, but hey, it's still there. Uh, the hands can rotate. They can move in and out some, in a lot due to transformation. Um, I mean, outward due to transformation, but inward a little bit. The hands do open and close. Uh, you do have waist rotation. You do have an ab crunch in here. You get a couple clicks of an ab crunch. Uh, you can move these skirt panels out of the way to accommodate the leg movements. Legs can move forward that far, back about that far, outward. You can do the full splits. Oops, things can come undone also. You got thigh rotation. You have 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. As far as the feet go, um, they can move up. The toes can move up. They can move down if you bring them down like so. You do have this little bit of the toe that can also pivot down if you need it to. And you have a bit of ankle tiltage. And also just noticed that uh, you can unclip the shoulder here so you can have that moving back. So we actually have two points here that we can move at the shoulder. Hey, we're discovering new things as we go. Cool. Cool. And here we have Victory Leo, and let's get in closer so we can take a look at his chest at the noggin. Noggin, there it is. And again, face done in white, blue for the eyes. You get that nice gold chrome there on the chest, which, yes, is a fingerprint magnet, but that's fine. <laughs> it's the nature of chrome. You get the white there, the red as well. Autobot symbol right there on the crotch. That Gatling guns on his hips, because why not? Dare I say why not? Again, some nice detail there. Got the yellow. As usual, I think the yellow could have used like a second coat because the black is bleeding through a little bit, but okay. Little red toesies. Again, you can see like the folded up beast mode legs there. You have lots of ports here also, so you can attach a bunch of weapons to them if you wish. Move up the back again. Very clean. Got the big old cannons back here done in red and white. But all in all, I think he looks quite, quite good. And now, articulation-wise, head can rotate, can do a full 360. Um, upward, I mean, you could do that. <laughs> Squirrel, I don't know. <laughs> can't really look down. A uh, little bit of wiggly-waggly, but not too much. Arms can do a full 360. Just have, to, just have to avoid the wings. In and out, bicep rotation. You get over 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. You get wrist rotation. Uh, nothing at the waist, just due to how he transforms. You don't have any waist articulation, unfortunately. Legs can move forward that far. Back that far. I would. Well, you can disengage this. That technically got that as a joint, but outward, you can get that far. You can unclip that and get even farther. You know, it looks kind of weird, but hey, it's there if you need it. Um, you do have thigh rotation. You do have. A bit over, if you kind of unclip things, you can get, you know, kind of a double jointed knee going on here, but so you don't get too much range of movement out of it. And as far as the feet go, all the toes can move up, they can move down, and you have toe tiltage. And of course, the uh, wings can angle forward and back if you need to. These cannons can rotate and kind of do what you want there. Angle those how you want. And there you have that. Now, as far as accessories go, we do get a display stand done here in a nice transparent blue. You got the big V done in yellow, Autobot symbol there. It looks quite nice. You can have this arm in two positions. You can have it in this position for robot mode or this position for the alt mode, which is nice. You also get this little adapter. This is meant for the alt mode and that plugs in right there so you can hold the jet mode. So very nice display stand. You also get weaponry. You get this blaster right here, just done in gray, but nice design to it. You also get the V-Lock Cannon, just done all in gray with some bits of red there. Very nicely done. You also get Star Saber's shield, 
Again, done in white and blue. Autobot symbol right there. Right here is the handle. This is a separate piece. It just plugs right in, right there. But a nice looking shield. And of course you get the sword. And there you have the handle piece, done in blue. Red and white with some black, some yellow in there as well. The blade itself done in a nice silver. You got some nice molded detail in there. One thing that's cool about the blade is you can uh, have it one of two ways. You can have it sitting like this if you want, but if you don't like that, you can plug it in this way and have that look going on. So again, things you can do if you want to do it, you have the option. And as always, options are what? They're good. And we also get a pair of blushes because, of course, we need blushes. Some nice, like, emerald green blushes. So, hey, hooray for more blushing. And last but not least, we just get a, a pair of stickers here for Victory Leo. And I'm probably not going to put these on, but they're meant to go right over these sections here. Just to give them that extra pop of color. But, hey, stickers, you want to apply them? Go ahead and apply them. And that is pretty much it. Now, as far as weapon wielding goes, uh, Star Saber does have this cool little gimmick, and uh, Jetfire had this also, uh, so huge Jetfire, where you have this port in the hand, and when you open up the fingers, that port retracts, and then when you close the hand up, that port pops back out. That's really cool, and you can plug in the sword, and of course you can plug in the shield, you can rotate this, so you can hold it at whatever angle you want. You can just take that, and Feed that up into his hand like so. So he has a sword, he has his shield. Um, if you don't want him holding the shield, there is a clip right here for this clip point on the forearm. So you can just take this and clip it on thusly and have that going on as well. Of course, you can store the weapons. You have ports here on the back, three ports on the back. You can store the sword right here. You can store it here. You can take this blaster. You can store this back here also if you want to. Uh, you can even bring in the cannon and you can plug that back there or have it uh, kind of, you know, sitting there and angled. Things you want to do if you want to do it. And you can store the sword in the shield. You want the blade sitting flat like that. And you just drop this down and it will peg in right up top like so. So you can have that going on. And then you can plug all of this onto Star Saber's form. And that leaves this hand open for a blaster, for the cannon, whatever you want to do there. Now as far as Victory Leo goes, uh, you can remove... These cannons here, they do have posts, and you can plug these onto his forearms if you wish, and have that going on, things you can do if you want to do it. Of course, you can have him wielding the cannon as well. Plug that into his hands and do all kinds of that. Again, things you can do if you want to do it. You can also have it uh, underslung if you wish. If you think that looks cooler, you can do that as well. You can even use this side post. I've seen pictures with him kind of holding it like this, although it doesn't work too well because that paw is kind of in the way. But, you know, you can do that also. Again, all things you can do if you want to do it for proper pew pewing by banging and drop dropping. Yay. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here they are with Earthrise Prime sense of the scale there and for the record i don't have my mp star saber anymore I ended up selling it off but uh here they are with siege jet fire again just you can get a sense of the size of these figures so there you go so that is basically it for the robot mode so let's get down to transformation shall we let's so we're going to begin with star saber here so the first thing we are going to do is we're going to uh, basically kind of decapitate him so just rip his head off here that's okay there's still another head there so <laughs> put that off to the side we want to come here to the chest piece get these wings out of the way you want to unclip this gray panel here so just kind of pull this out that will unclip, and then you can just kind of pull that out. So again, just unclip this gray panel here, pull that out, and there is a release button 
right back here, little red button. Just push that and that will allow you to disengage Saber and we will put him off to the side for it now. Um, so now we're gonna go into the, uh, the, the, the base mode. It, it, that's what they're calling it. It's just a weird thing. But anyway, bring the arms back. You can angle all cannons up however you want. Bring the arm back. Uh, you're going to open up this panel here and collapse the arm in. Once you've done that, just close that back up. Take the hand and flip that in like so. Second verse, just like the first. Just open that up. Collapse that in. Close that up and flip that hand in like that. Um, once we have done that, what you want to do here is we want to basically get this out of the way. You're going to just bring up these skirt panels here, take the legs and just bring them all the way out to the side like that. You're going to flip in the toe and then just flip in this entire red section like that same thing on the other side just flip that in and flip this one this one's a little stiffer there we go flip that in like that and then just plop it down and this little panel here kind of serves as like a little kickstand to hold it up and what you're going to do is bring in the helmet piece here. Just flip up that mouth plate to cover up the face. Take these and bring them forward. And that will just clip in right up top like that. And then you're going to bring in the shield. You want this handle in this orientation. And you have these two tabs right here, which will go into these two slots right here. Now on mine, this doesn't exactly stay in very securely. It tends to fall out, but I don't care because I will never display it in this mode because I think it's kind of dumb. But hey, again, things you can do if you want to do it. But there you go. There you have the... Uh, the weird base mode. Hey, again, things you can do if you want to do it. And one more thing to add here is you can take this blaster that plugs in right there, and there you have the full look. Yeah, weird. I don't care about it, but hey, things you can do. So now let's get down to Saber here, and to get him into robot mode, first thing we're going to do is just take the arms and just shift them up. Shift them up like so. Then we can split the legs, and we're going to bring down this whole waist assembly here, and the legs. Just bring all of that down, and just straighten those legs out like that. And once we have done that, we're going to come back here and open up this panel, and extend the leg like so, and then just close that up. Second verse, second first, open that up. Just extend that leg and then close that up. You can take these little fins, just bring them back. Take these panels here, flip them up and flip them up. Then come here, flip out his toesies. They will thoop into place. Flip up, thoop. Get everything straightened out and then flip out the fist. Flip out the fist. And there we go. There we have Saber in his robot mode. And a nice little robot mode. Looks quite good in my opinion. Let's get in close here so we can take a look not at his chest. Noggin! There's the noggin. Again, nice silver on the face there. Some trans clear and blue for the visor. And silver on the chest. Autobot symbol, some yellow. And some greys, some yellows, toesies, backsies, booties, and all of that good stuff. Now, articulation-wise, the head uh, can rotate. But again, you don't want to go too far. That's pretty much as far as you can go, but as far as probably you need to go. Arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out at the ball joint itself. You also have this hinge as well, so you have two points of outward movement for the shoulder. 
Um, you have bicep rotation, 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. Um, you do have wrist rotation. They can move inward due to transformation. Uh, you do have waist rotation. Due to transformation, you have an ab crunch in there as well. Legs can move forward that far. You can do the big boot. Back that far. Outward, full splits. You have thigh rotation. Bit under 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. The toes, they can move up. Um, they can move down. And you have a little bit of ankle tiltage. And if you want, you can give Saber a big old sword if you want. Things you can do if you want to do it, or if you don't want to do that. Of course, we can remove the blade. And this little blue handle here will just push in, and then just pushes that out to fill in that gap. You can just plug that onto the shoulder like so. Again, things you can do if you want to do it. And for comparison, here it is with Earthrise Prime, just so you can see how that works out. So there you go. Now to get Saber transformed into alt mode, we need to remove this. And we're going to flip in the fists, flip in the fists, flip in the toesies, toesies, take these and flip them down. And then we're going to open these back up and collapse those legs in like so. And close that back up, open, collapse, and close. And you can tab those legs together. Before we do anything else with the upper body, we need to open up the chest here and we can remove the brain, the brain of courage here. It's tiny, very tiny. Come on, come on, there we go. <laughs> Once we do that, we can flip in that headpiece and close that back up. We can take the arms and just shift them down, like so. Do that on either side, shift that down, flip out the wings, and just bring down the little fins here. Just get all of that into position, like so. Then you take the nose cone section and that will just tab in right there, like that. And there you have Saber in his Ultima. We're not going to do too much spinning because we got a lot to do here. We got a lot to do. But there he is in his little jet mode. It's a nice little jet mode. Got the thrusters back there. All that good stuff. Top, bottom, you know, visible, lots of stuff syndrome. <laughs> But there you have that. And we'll bring in the uh, the brain of courage here. And that's just funny on its own, but we don't want to do that. We want to flip this back and that will reveal the actual head there. And you can see he is just a tiny, tiny, tiny little figure here. You have that little bit of gold in the chest. You know, no paint on the head, but again, it's it's a tiny tiny figure the other articulation is just the arms can rotate the legs move forward and back at the hips and that is pretty much it this thing is minuscule here it is with a titan master so you can see how that works out again it's like half the size of a titan master it's it's little very very little don't lose this now you can open up the cockpit here and get our brain of courage into a seated position and it will drop down right in here. You can close up the cockpit and there you go. The brain of courage can now pilot whoosh. Now to get all this transformed up into its proper alt mode, I'm gonna remove this, put that off to the side, remove the shield, remove the helmet piece and put that off the side. And we're just going to work with this. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to uh, basically unclip the leg at this hinge right here. Take that and unclip it and bring that down like so. Make sure that this leg stays up like that. I'm going to open up this panel and shift the leg up like so, and then close that back up like that. And you can take the uh, blade of the sword and it will just store right in here like that. Once you do that, you wanna take the forearm here and just kind of swing this out so you can bring this around. Um, you also wanna bring up the uh, hip skirt panel here like that. So you wanna bring this in, this little blue clip will end up going into the forearm and then we have tabs and slots right here. So just try to line everything up 
like that, and tab all this in, that'll all clip in, and straighten that out. And there you have that side all done. Second verse, just like the first. We'll just raise this up first. And again, just kind of break his leg there at the thigh. And open that up. And swing that up. Close that back up. Just bring that forearm out. Rotate this down. And again, just try to get everything clipped in. And clipped in. Oops, that side came undone. How dare you! And there we go. Then you come here to the knee pads, flip up these landing skid. Straighten that out. Then you take this back panel here. Let's extend that, bring that down. That'll just peg in right there like so. Flip out the wings, flip up these fins, angle those how you wish. And there you have all of that ready to go. So now we bring in Saber. We bring the wings up. We take all of these fins and bring them down. And this will just clip in right here. Come on. There we go. That will all clip in. And then you close these up like that and there you go there you have a star saber in his alt what no why not why not get a little spin out of him <laughs> but you got that going on now we can bring in the helmet piece that will just clip in right there we can store our other accoutrement if we want. We can take this blaster here and that will plug in right back here like that. We can bring in the cannon that can plug in right there like so. And we can bring in the shield and there is a post right there that will go into this port right here. So you can take that, plug that in and voila. There you have storage for everything. Hooray, hooray for storage. And that is it for now for Star Saber. So now let's move on to Victory Leo. And to transform him, what we're going to do is take this black panel and flip that down. That will cover up the face. Take these, rotate them forward like that. You can open up the mouth if you want to. You can see the inside of the mouth is painted in red and also the teeth painted in white you have these little bits in here which will just kind of flare out a little bit hey you got that going on as far as the arms go what you want to do is you want to take the hand and rotate it so it is palm up and then you just rotate all this back like so to reveal the paw second verse just like the first just rotate that up flip that out and there you go. We basically have the upper body all done. Now we move on to the lower body. So what we're going to do here is flip up the toes. Come back here. You have this panel you want to open up and then compress the leg in. Bring that down. And there is a little tab slot connection in there. So just make sure you have all that lined up. That should just sit nice and flush like that. And open that up. Bring that down, and again, just close that up like that. You want to come in here, you want to flip out these sections, like so. And tab the legs together. You have this white panel here, you want to take this and just bring that back. Then the beast mode legs, you're going to just rotate down and tab the paw. And these legs do kind of thoop into place. There's a natural little thooping point for it. So again, bring that down and let it thoop on tab. Bring that down and just kind of angle things how you want. That's a pretty simple transformation, but there you have Victory Leo in his beast mode. Can't really spin him too well, but hey, there is the beast mode. And it works. Not too shabby. I can work with it. Take a look at the beast mode head there. You can see, you got some nice blue for the eyes. Again, the inside of the mouth is painted. And a whole lot of stuff we've already seen, just in a different configuration. 
but all in all, not too shabby, not too shabby, um, you can, you know, if you kind of have that going, you can kind of move the head around, a little ball joint at the head, side to side, some rotation, you can see the mouth can't open and close, you know, the front leg articulation is the same as it was in robot mode. You can kind of move those paws around if you want. The hind legs don't do too much. They can rotate, but there's no outward movements. You have this hinge here, hinge at the paw. And, of course, you can kind of move this up and down if you need to for any posing there. And that's pretty much it for that. Um, of course, you can, you know, take the cannons. And you can adjust those how you want. They move up, they move down. Angle those however you wish. You can kind of angle those wings up a little bit more if you want to. Again, all things you can do if you want to do it. And you can also bring in the cannon here. And one thing you can do is you can take this post and flip that back to reveal this clip. And it will go over this section right here. And how you want to do that is just, you basically just want to kind of drop it down in front of it and then just kind of slide it back that seems to be the most efficient way of doing that and you can have Victor Leo with the big old feedlock cannon again things you can do if you want to do it and for comparison uh, here they are with Siege Jetfire just so you can see how that works out whoosh and here they are with Earthrise Prime so there you go. And now to get Victory Leo into its other alt mode, uh, we're going to take this, bring the foot up. There's a little tab slot connection here, so make sure that, that just drops into place like so. And then just rotate this entire section back again. There's a little light thoop action there. So it just kind of drops into place. So again, just kind of get all this situated. And rotate this back like so. You're gonna take this section here and rotate that back up. These cannons are going to rotate around like that. You're going to take the head here, you can close the mouth, take these side pieces and push them in. The head will just come up and over like that. You wanna take these wings, extend them outward like so and then you're going to take the paws here just kind of angle them up a little bit you're going to bend the arms up and you have a tab slot connection right here you have a little tab that'll go into a slot right here in the wing spring that up and tab that in and then just kind of tuck all this up into a nice neat little package like that and second verse just like the first again just kind of bring that up rotate all of this up plug it in plug it in and get all that straightened out like so. And one more thing to do is to bring in the cannon. You can kind of flip this back, flip these little panels up. And what's going to happen here is we have a tab. Oh, actually, my mistake. I'm so sorry. We want this down because we need this tab right here is going to go into this slot right here and then we have this slot right here which is going to go over these two tabs right here so just line all that up and tab that in and tab that in and there we go there we have victory leo in his second ultima Dude, there we go. still can't get a good spin out of them don't know why just don't know there you go. You got that going on. It's a weird alt mode, but hey, it's a thing. It's it's a thing. It's a thing with stuff with wings. Yay. I mean, it, I mean, it looks like a whole lot of nothing, but you know what? It's a successful whole lot of nothing. You know, I can work with it. I can work with it. But there you have that now to prep this to combine with Star Saber. We need to... Remove this, put that off to the side. Now in this mode, we do need to flip this up, like so, and that will just sit over like that. Uh, we're going to take these sections here and rotate them in, rotate them in, clip that back together, and that is now ready to go. So what we need to do here now is we need to just take 
this panel here and just bring that up and out of the way. And what's going to happen is there are these tabs on either side right here, which will drop down into these rails right here and then end up tabbing in right there. So you just line all of that up and drop it down. There we go. Just drop it down and that will just drop into place like so. And then you have these two tabs right here which will go into these two red clips. So you take that, push that down, and that will lock all of that into place. And now we bring in the shield. You wanna remove this section here from this port and it will plug into this port right here. So that's how you want that looking. And then you just plug it right back on the way it was before. That drops down just like that. We can take the cannon, plug that back where it was, and there you have the complete V-Star Jets. And now it is an extra long jet with extra wings and extra cannons. And hey, why not? Dare I say why not? It works. I'm a fan. I'm here for it. Looks pretty cool. So there you have that. And we can bring in the flight stand and it's going to plug into his, uh, his crotch basically right here. So you just line that up. And just get that secured. And there we have the V-Star Jets on the flight stand. And that does make for quite the cool display. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Works for me. Works for me. So, there you go. And now it's time for the grand finale, the combination into Victory Saber, and we're going to start off with Victory Leo, since uh, he requires pretty much the most prep work here. So what we're going to do is we're going to extend these wings out, and then we're going to rotate the palm up, bring this paw around, pretty much like when we were going into all mode, and again we have the tab slot connection here for the wing, add that in like so. Same thing on the other side, just rotate that up, bring all this around, tab it in, like so, tuck that all up, and we're going to bring this black panel down, cover up the face, rotate these down, you want to rotate the head 180, like so, bring that up, and now this entire assembly here will just disengage and slide off like that. Once you've done that, this head will just come down like so. And then you're just going to take these cannons here and bring them up, rotate them around, bring up that hinge, rotate around, and this white panel here will come down and around, just sit it here like that, and that is all ready to go. So now, what we need to do with the rest of the body is we're going to just rip it in half like that and get down to transforming so we will flip out the foot this little clip here you just want to rotate in you want to flip the toe up open up this panel here collapse the leg in again close that up you can be mindful of that little tap slot connection in there sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain in the butt to get it all angled in there just right but there we go once we've done that, we're now going to bend this around on this hinge here where the Gatling gun is. Bring this around. we got a tab slot connection right here. Tab that in like so. And you're going to flip out this piece here. Come in here and flip out this little red clip. And that is all ready to go. And the second verse is just like the first. Flip this up. Flip out the toe. Flip, flip. Flip out the toe. Get this leg all collapsed up. Like that. Line all that up. Close that up. Bring that around. Tab that in. Flip out this little black section here, which sometimes can be a little bit of a pain to get out. There we go. Flip out the little red clip. And we have the new shoes ready to go. And the only real prep work we have to do here for Star Saber is to flip in the feet, 
like that and like that. One issue I do have with this figure is, as you can see, the knees. Knees are a little on the loose side, but that is, that's something that's fixable. But once we have that done, all we're going to do is connect the feet. So this red clip is going to go over this section right here. So just snap that on like so, and then bring this black piece up like so. Same thing on the other side. Just clip that in, bring that up. There you go. He's got his new shoes on. And then we come up here and this whole assembly will just clip in right here into that central port. Just line that up and plug it in. These cannons will just drop down into those little slots right there to secure all of that into place. And there you have it. There you have Victory Saber. And it's not really a drastic combination. He just has some platform shoes and wings now, but hey, I can work with it. I can work with it. <laughs> there he is in all of his glory. And of course we can arm him up. Uh, one thing to note is back here. Oh, one more thing we need to do here was bring this panel down. There's a tab slot connection here. Boop, there you go. And this panel here does have ports. So if you want to store your weapons back here, you can do so. You can plug in the cannon, you can plug in this blaster, you can even plug in the sword if you want to. Um, there are ports here on the side skirts, so if you want to, you can have the sword just kind of holstered at his side. Again, things you can do if you want to do it. What I personally like to do is I like to take the uh, cannon here, you want to rotate these sections down like so, and I have him holding the cannon in this arm like that and then i give him the shield i plug it onto his form i give him this blaster right here the sword i do leave just at his side plug them there again this is what i like to do but as always it's yours display it however you wish but me personally that's uh that's what i like to go with i think that looks cool but as always you do what you want and all of his weapons are bluish compatible. Yes, yes, oh yes. And we're gonna do some. We're gonna do something crazy. I don't know if we can make this work, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna do it somehow. So we can plug one onto here. We can plug one here. We're not done. Oh, we're not done because we can plug two up here into these cannons. Oh yeah, we're doing this. We're we're doing this. I don't know if we'll be able to get all this. this. This might be too much blushing to get all in the frame, but we can do it. We're going to try. We're going to try. And guess what? Even these on his shoulders, you know what? Blush compatible. They're all blush compatible. We can do that. <laughs> we can do that. And we can do a big old mega star sabering victory. I think that's too much blushing. That's too much blushing. That's that's too much power. Too much power for one to wield. But you know what? Hey, things you can do <laughs> if you want to do it. And for comparison again, here we have Earthrise Prime and Siege Jetfire. So you can see how that works out in combined mode. So there you go. And last but not least, we can bring in the stand again. And you have this post right here, which will plug into his butt. So just plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. And there you have Victory Saber upon his stand. And that makes for a very, very cool display. So there you go. So there you have a Victory Saber, and uh, yeah, very nicely done set here. I do quite like it. You know, uh, if you follow this channel, you know that I have no real attachment to Star Saber. I've never watched Victory, um, but still, I wanted to go in on this because it seemed like a really cool set. And it is. It's a really cool set. Really well done. The only issue I really have is just the knees on Star Saber are a little bit loose, but that's something that I can fix. But other than that, everything's really well done. Everything looks good in all of its modes. The transformations are smooth, fluid, enjoyable. It's fun to mess with. 
And HasLab is also doing Thesaurus, which has already been fully funded, and that will be coming out. I did back that, so we will take a look at Thesaurus whenever that comes out. Um, but yeah, very very nicely done set here. I am I'm quite quite pleased with it. So there you go. Now this was a crowdfunded HasLab exclusive. So if you didn't back this project, um, good luck finding it anywhere near retail price on the secondary market. I I wish you the best of luck. That's all I can say. But of course, you can also get Transformers from BigBadToyStore.com, as always linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the Legacy playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the HasLab Victory Saber! And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Palm in your face! I did, whoa! Did, how did you even get in here? The door is anyway. Who might you be? I am a Victory Saber. Victory Saber? Hmm. And I thought I went nuts with the upgrades. <laughs> But you seem like a great hero. Uh, yes, yes I am. Greater than me? Most likely. You didn't have to be so quick to answer. You could have, you know, at least pretend to think about it. No, no, I'm, I'm way better than you. Mm-hmm. Security! I already defeated them all. Also way better warrior than you. Ah, oh, scrap.